Recently, I put out a video called How to Hide Any Microphone and Improve Your Audio, and it was about how so many YouTubers have big microphones, you know, just in, in front of their face, blocking their face, and the advantages that could be had from doing things differently. Well, lots of you commented saying something along the lines of, influencers who hold lav mics whilst filming must drive you crazy. And, yes. I've timestamped everything in this video so you can just skip around to the bits you want and I'm on the long winding path to 100,000 subscribers and it would really make my day if you could take the time to hit that subscribe button. Um, it really just um, helps the channel and um, you know puts a smile on my face and I appreciate it. Uh, thank you in advance. This video is not sponsored but it is made possible by my Patreon backers. Any funds that I get from Patreon I put back into the channel and I do reviews and then I give the gear away. Like right now I have I think three giveaways running for a total of around $800 worth of gear so you know get down there. Um, it's a great way to support the channel. Uh, it's inexpensive and um, you can win some cool stuff. So yeah onward. I'm assuming most of you have seen this being done. It tends to be a lot of fitness influencers. And um, by the way, this is not content that I, uh, these are not people that I follow. This is not content that I enjoy or consume. These are just the first that I found. All of them are holding lav mics really close to their mouths and actually closer than the lavs are designed to be held. And I'm sure I'm not the only one that finds this distracting amateur looking and actually quite unnatural sanding. I think it's especially cringy seeing three of the four of these using the little dead cat attachments or pop filter attachments when, you know, all but one of them are shooting indoors. I mean, come on guys, come on. So I'm gonna be bold and say, I can't stand this, you know? And I get that these are people that likely don't have any or as much audio recording knowledge as us you know? But, and really what they're trying to achieve is more of a, a voiceover style sound. I get that. But I feel that it's gone beyond this. I think it's become more of a trend. And I, in my opinion, it's a terrible idea. And here's why. By holding a lav mic, they are left with basically two options. To hold it in exactly the same place throughout the whole video without switching hands, which they rarely do, or they gesture with it and that creates not only kind of inconsistent audio in terms of volume and, and actually proximity uh, effect as well, but because they're not designed to be handled, you will encounter some handling noise. I would also argue that it makes the content less engaging. I mean, it's just so distracting to be holding a random object that has no relevance to the video and gesturing with it. And I bet now you cannot keep your eyes off this pink grapefruit and I bet your attention is waning. Mine would be. If in general you enjoy my content, but you disagree with me on this point, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments and I will endeavor to make holding a random object whilst presenting a regular feature. Of course, I shouldn't criticize without offering a better solution, should I? Well, here we are. Influencers could use a system like this, the Hollyland Lark M2 wireless lav system. I reviewed it recently and you know, I do my pros and cons and I could barely find any cons. It's really pretty amazing. Uh, the transmitters are super light. They're only nine grams each and they magnetically connect to, there's a little button that you can get. So that's, that's how it's uh, on my jumper here. And there's also a kind of necklace version. And the good thing about this system is they all look really normal. So this is just a great option. Then there's something like the Rode VideoMic Me microphone that plugs straight into your phone. So it's super easy. It doesn't require batteries or charging up and is a huge upgrade from a built-in phone mic. And you know what? Shooting with these kind of mics can sound really nice and natural, especially like a few of the examples I showed you earlier, you're shooting indoors at home. It's just, it gives you a really kind of open sound. You're gonna get a little bit more room tone, but you know what? Room tone is normal and, you know, it can sound almost kind of conversational and I like it. I'm not using the, the uh, Rode version. I'm actually using uh, a mic from Deity. It's the Deity Duo, but you know what? It does the same job. It's gonna sound as good. 
So there you go. Admittedly, this was a little bit of a ranty video, but sometimes it's good to have a little rant. You know, it's like opening the pressure valve. I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. I want to hear from you. Do you agree? What did I miss? Definitely let me know in the comment section. I'm down there as much as I can be. I've made nearly 400 of these videos and the algorithm recommends this video for you to watch next. And the one below is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.